Hello fabulous Aries, welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have you feeling very connected to a spirit of source and an appreciation of the karmic rewards that you are ready to reap, especially in the early part of the month. The energy does change though. It becomes very social and very love and partnership oriented as well. So there's a lot to talk about here. Let's start with what is happening, a cluster of events right around the fifth and sixth, depending on where you are on the planet. The first is Mercury goes retro. And in the same part of the sky as that Mercury retrograde, we will have a new moon. And this new moon is happening in the sign just before yours, along with Mercury retrograde in the sign just before yours. Now, this particular new moon is very dreamy. It's very aspirational, very hopeful, but also has a sense of manifestation, wanting great things to happen and making great opportunities happen for yourself. It will happen hand in hand with Neptune and speak in harmony with Saturn at the top of your sky and speak in harmony with Mars in a financial part of your sky. So this tells me that along with this sense of that karmic reward and a feeling deep within you that your time has come, that you're ready to put aside your fears so that you can move towards the larger goals you have for your legacy and your life purpose on the one hand, but for others, it's gonna be more practical in terms of the goals you have for your career, for your social standing, and for a sense of achievement and how that matches up in terms of money. Well, this is going to be a very blessed time in all of these regards. So wherever it is that you are feeling inspired to go, you can go in that direction, but just know that chances are some of the best opportunities that are gonna find you, especially in the early part of the month are going to just show up for you. They will represent a sense of karmic reward, good things that come about based on the stuff that you did long ago and you forgot about. But now that good karma is coming back around to you. And very likely it is going to include some success and it's going to include some prosperity as well. Now, what we also have happening under the same sky right around the same time is the very big news of Uranus changing signs. If you remember last year, in the middle of last year, we got that little bit of a taste of Uranus leaving your sign, which is the bigger deal than where Uranus is going. For you, the fact that Uranus is leaving your sign, well, you saw what that could feel like in the middle of last year. You got a little bit of a taste of it. Well, now here we are, and we are going to more fully step into this energy. And Uranus will be here for a nice long stay right to 2026. That is a long time, but you are about to go on a journey towards greater freedom and authenticity. And I spoke a lot about this. There's a uh, right here on YouTube, there is a special horoscope for Uranus. I'll try to link to it somewhere and have another look at that, as well as the special horoscopes on YouTube on my website, NadiaShaw.com, where I dived into Uranus with a lot more depth. But for now, I want to put this in context with this new moon. We have this uh, planet of Uranus moving into a part of the sky that Mars recently moved into. And it is Mars that is speaking in harmony with the new moon. And so there is this sense now of change and for some really dramatic change and clarity as to your money, as to your finances, as to how to create more prosperity or what will be a more rewarding journey towards greater prosperity for you. And yet for others, a lot of this is going to come back to and be rooted in an understanding of self-love and self-value and self-respect and how that shows up in any area of life, not necessarily just having to do with practical matters of money that you earn and money that you spend. And so this is already an area of focus, an area of consideration because Mars moved into this part of the sky where Uranus will move into the sign just after yours uh, last month. And so you've already been having a little taste of this. Wherever Mars goes, so goes an area that is of special importance to you because Mars is your ruling planet. And so you've already been getting used to understanding your own power and understanding your own presence 
in this area of life. Now here comes Uranus and is going to bring with it real big change. And you will feel that very soon right out of the gate. Again, think back to what was taking place in your life between May and October of last year because it was at that time that we had Uranus in this same part of the sky. Well, whatever was taking place for you at that time, you can expect a renewal, a return, and a real sense of progress transpiring for you now. As we move further into the month, right around the equinox, that is when we are going to have a few things. One is the sun will move into the sign of Aries. So happy birthday to all the Aries out there as your birthday month begins. What will also happen at the same time is a full moon in your opposite sign. This full moon is happening at the very beginning of its sky. And what this speaks to is a sense of, on the one hand, completion, uh, clarity as to where it is that you have been in terms of a particular partnership. At the same time though, there's a sense of beginning because it is at the very beginning of its respective sign. Under the same sky, we are going to have a beautiful connection between Venus and Jupiter. It is going to be Venus that spends much of the month in a very social part of your sky, a part of the sky that has to do with friendships and groups that you belong to. And so there is this overall very social spirit throughout the month, which is heightened that much more as we get to this full moon. And then this full moon becomes a lot more about the one-on-one -on -one interactions, the one-on-one -on -one alliances with other people and having a sense of where they bless your life or where it is that they have served their purpose in your life and how it is that that brings you a sense of renewal. This can play out in terms of your business alliances and business partnerships, absolutely. This can be a time when you're looking at a business alliance differently than you did before, and that will allow you to make some significant change that will either bond you to this person that much more or will provide with it a sense of closure so that you can move in new directions. But of course, if we're talking about partnership, we have to talk about love as well. As I said, it's all about people, especially as we get later into the month with this full moon. And it is with this full moon that very likely, if there's nobody right now, if you're open to meeting someone new, well, full moons in your opposite sign tend to bring someone into the mix. Now, I can't say that a lot is gonna happen necessarily uh, in terms of long-term potential, but what I do think as I look at this is that you'll have a lot of fun, especially if you are uh, spending time with friends, that would be a really good idea to do around this full moon. If you're invited to anything, if you are throwing yourself a birthday party, that would be a good idea to do around this full moon. There's a certain purity to it as it takes place at the very beginning of its sign. And very likely, because we have an important lunar event in your opposite sign, someone is going to be there to help you to understand where you are in love and why. And this is ultimately about possibility and hope and excitement for what is ahead. Now keep in mind, Venus will also, under the same light, will be speaking with Mars in a conversation of tension. Uh, all of this looks to me like going, uh, really going overboard, maybe going too far, maybe getting very involved in a moment, uh, very caught up in passion, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, um, but it's always up to you to decide what is right for you in light of your unique circumstance. But again, I'm brought back to this idea that as far as long-term potential and what may be possible in the bigger picture, um, it doesn't look like there are as strong roots just yet where it comes to new people that you may meet, but it does look like there's a lot of enjoyment uh, and a lot of excitement as well. Now, for those of you who are getting to know someone, I feel like this full moon is very much about you considering the greater possibility, but it's also going to illuminate whether or not this person is relationship material for you or even a realistic possibility. And by realistic, I mean, is this someone that you're just interested in or is this someone that you're getting to know? Is this someone that you're hoping will develop into something but it hasn't yet? Or is it that you're actually dating this person? There is an active courtship taking place. Well, whom this person is for you and what is meant to go forward from here is going to become very clear for you, especially around this full moon, which happens right at the equinox. 
And this does suggest that this moment of clarity in some way does energize you, but at the same time, there's a sense of believing that there's love in the world for you. That's thanks to Venus connecting with Jupiter. And your friends may be the people who remind you of this or who give you a perspective that allows you to connect with wisdom. And it is that connection with wisdom, a more philosophical approach to love that lets you see a situation more clearly and lets you decide how it is and where it is to move forward from here. And so for some of you out there, it can be that if you are getting to know somebody, uh, this can be a time that that process accelerates and you truly start to envision them as part of your future. For others of you, it may become clear that this may not be the person for you, but regardless of what your unique truth is going to be, it is rooted in emotional knowing. It is an intuitive insight that has great wisdom to it that you are ready to acknowledge and to own. For those of you who are in an established bond, this can be an exciting time with the full moon in your opposite sign. Uh, it tends to represent a time when your partner is of particular importance to you. You just wanna spend more time with them. You feel like being around them a lot more. And that in turn can allow you to feel that much more of a connection. As far as like developments actually taking place, well, look, if you are in an established bond, I think that that uh, Jupiter and Venus in harmony under the light of this full moon, and you add Mars into the mix as well, uh, chances are there's going to be some growth. There is going to be some development that allows you to feel uh, awakened and impassioned by your partner, but also very hopeful about your future. And so it could be that the two of you are making plans together, uh, considering a more idealistic future together uh, with yourselves. But this is going to bring with it some awareness, some acknowledgement on your part, and also some sense of closure. So if something's been bothering you or the two of you have been going back and forth on a particular issue, not sure the best decision to make, well, it is going to be the light of this full moon that helps the two of you to get clear and be rooted in that clarity, but also excited about the future ahead. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here, but I do love how in the early part of the month, the energy is so spiritual. It really is about you recognizing how it is that the wisdom is playing out in the smallest moments in the tapestry of your life. It may be in the early part of the month that you're particularly tired. You may need more time to actually sleep and, and delve into the dream space. That would probably be a good idea because it is when your conscious defenses are down that your psyche will be able to speak to you. But not only that, you can understand this as the wisdom of your ancestors coming forward, of your spirit guides coming forward. And with a month like this, they have very good news for you. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, a dedicated Facebook group that's very active, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.